justice. Red and I set about looking for our first case. Well, I take care of the truth and justice side while Red searches for a case that pays. You really reckon Half Moon can find my mobile? We can find your mobile for a price. All I've got is a bag of chocolate chip cookies. That'll do. You're not having my chocolate chip cookies. Then we don't have a deal. OK, you can have one each. Three quarters of a bag. That's my final offer. I'll give you half. Take it or leave it. Seven eighths. Done. Finally, Half Moon Investigations had our first paying customer. But the arrival of a certain text message threatened to make it our last. Liam! Jason, come to the chip van later. Think about it, Jeannie Sharky. Good choice. News travels fast at St Jerome's, and Mia Stone was usually right on its tail. Kill you! Now that's not very nice. I'll get you, Leo! You're dead! You can't protect him forever, Sharky! Gentlemen! Let's be reasonable about this. Just get this thing off me. Jason, what are you doing? Get off me. I don't understand. I thought you and me were supposed to be best mates. Oh, yeah? Well, I thought you were supposed to be my best mate, Kylie Morgan. I don't get you. Yeah? Does the word skankatronic mean anything to you? Who are you calling skankatronic? I'm not calling no one skankatronic. That was you. What is your problem? You know what you did. No, I don't. Don't lie. You've been getting off the Carly behind my back. I never touched her. Liar. Mentalist. Sorry, you can't speak to her. But I'm April's best friend. Uh, not anymore. April, I don't understand. Spare us the innocent act. Arguments were starting everywhere. Former best friends were now fighting, including the Pinks. Something smelt wrong in the yard that day, and it wasn't just April's new perfume. Hey, Red. What do you want? Just a hug from my favourite kid brother. Loads of people were acting oh! out of character. Who keeps a, that in their pocket? Me? Since the last time he tried to nick my wallet. Just lend us a tenner. There's this amazing gig on Friday. No. I'm not paying for you to see some whining emos. Why don't you just ask Dad? I did. He said I want to depress myself. They should just read my last school report. Why do people assume our music's depressing? Hazel? Yeah. Freak. You heard right. My sister, Hazel. Any idiot can tell it's postmodernist irony. It's totally obvious. Are you calling our dad an idiot? No, of course not. I just meant any other idiot. Sisters. Can't live with them. Can't leave home till we're 18. It's a tough deal, especially as my sister Hazel has multiple personalities. A different one for every cute boy in school. It didn't take a detective to identify our latest target, dog boy trauma. Or according to the register, Darren Thomas. His blog lists musical influences as emo, goth, neo-punk, and traditional bagpipe music. He also likes cats. Your picture, it's amazing. I know. Hey, Jeannie. Jeannie! What? Um, what are you listening to? A local band, Futility Trousers. Futility Trousers? Nice one. I love Futility Trousers. I mean, the early stuff, before they went mainstream. Are you going to their gig on Friday? Yeah, as soon as I can get the cash together. Um, you do know it's sold out. But I got a spare ticket. I'll give you 15 quid for it. I'll give you 20. What? 20 quid. What do you say? Hope you enjoy the gig. But your skin, where are you going to get 20 quid from? I'm a sharky. I'll find a way. Moon. Psst. Moon. You're doing this detective thing, right? 
have been investigations at your service. Yeah, whatever. It's almost like taking my mobile. It just like vanished from my bag. And anyone has to find out who stole it. Well, duh. Did any of your friends see anything? I don't know. I can't really ask. Oh, I smell treachery. Go. I am not a traitor. Mercedes, show her the evidence. April is a sucky leader. Join with me and we can take over. Zara, kiss, kiss, kiss. I didn't send that. I checked the number, lame brain. It came from your phone. Girl. Someone set me up. Please, Moon, you've got to help me or April will never speak to me again. That would be a bad thing. Berstein says a good detective takes <laughs> mental snapshots to help you visualise. Good advice, although film footage is more reliable. OK, 11.04. Zara leaves her bag on the bench. She didn't go back until 11.06. That gives our thief a two-minute window. Thanks for this, Mia. No problem. Can't believe we're working for Zara. We're not working for Zara. We're working for truth and justice. Seriously, when I signed up for this, I didn't think we were working for the pinks. <laughs> I didn't know you liked Lily of the Valley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is from Liam. Roses are red, violets are blue. Kyle is with me, so now she's dumped you. How could I send that? My mobile has been nicked. What? I mean, Liam. Like, no way. I thought he was with Shazney. That Kylie is, like, so full of it. Just look what she texted. Your tuna breath is skankatronic. I never said that. Could we see your mobile, Kylie? Sure. Oh, wait. It's gone? It was plainer than Quinn's passport photo. Someone was stealing mobiles and sending fake messages. And we had to track them down before they tore the whole school apart. I can still smell perfume. I think that's still you. Find anything yet? Hair glitter, nail glitter, official Shona Biderbeck fan club card. Told you. No one else comes here except from April and the goons. And they were watching the fight. So, no witnesses. Who's that? I don't know. But I think we should find out. Our potential witness was watching from the library. It was time to visit an old haunt of mine. Mrs. Meeker. We're looking for a geek. Harsh. Who else is in the library at 12.30? Well, he used to be in here all the time. Case closed. Fletcher Moon. I've missed our little chats. Times have changed. I run a business now. Red Sharky. Half Moon Investigations. Oh, isn't he tall? Would you mind? Is that old hardback on the far left? Old yellow. That's it, thank you. Mrs Meeker, did you notice anything unusual at morning break? Oh, you mean the big fight? I looked over when I heard the shouting. Forget the fight. We're looking for a mobile phone thief. Sorry, dear. Don't think I can help you. Tim, I've got your book. Here, this is the one you wanted, isn't it? I told you. A geek? What do you want? Where were you at break time? Well, he was in here. He's always in here. Aren't you, Tim? Tim, did you see anyone take a mobile phone from Zara's bag? I didn't see nothing. So why are you sweating? Oh, it is hot in here. Don't hold back on us, Tim. You know something. I don't. I swear. 